New at 5.30, a Rhode Island woman is using art to protest the separation of families at the U.S.-Mexico border. Even though President Trump signed an executive order putting an end to that policy, children still remain in government custody. NBC10's Michelle San Miguel is live in the studio with that story. Michelle? Emily, the artist and mother I spoke with says her drawings are not political. She told me it's about reuniting families. Frances Tolkart didn't know what to do. She saw image after image of children separated from their parents at the U.S.-Mexico border. I was heartbroken. And so Frances did what she does best. She started to draw. These are faceless little children. We, I have no idea who they are, what their names are, but they're faceless, but they're still human. Every morning, she draws 30 children from her home in Situate. She tracks her progress on her Instagram page, 2,000 taken. I wanted to protest. Uh, every day. But no, I'm not, I'm not okay with this. And She's already sketched more than 600 faceless children and Frances plans to fill the rest of this watercolor paper with the drawings of more than 2,000 children who were separated from their families. And then the little ones here, you know, they, they're too small to even stand. As she draws, she's not just thinking about the immigrant children living in tent cities, but also her two little girls. I cried for days um, because I imagined First off, that it was mine and what it would feel like for my babies to be taken from me. And then I realized it was a horrible reality for thousands of, of mothers and fathers and children. Faced with anxiety and heartbreak, she put pencil to paper and continues drawing. Until these families are re reunited, we have, to, we have to keep using our voices and I, you know, calling your local government I'd say this isn't the prettiest uh, chapter of American history. And once the drawing is done, Frances wants to donate it to a museum or an organization. Her hope, she told me, is that history does not repeat itself. In the studio, Michelle San Miguel, NBC 10 News.